we've seen with the Republican Party in Illinois, particularly at the highest levels, is that it's complicit and that it's willing to cut deals with its opposition. So when people get into powerful positions, they will do anything and everything not to lose that power. And that's a real problem in our world. It's a real problem in Washington and it's a real problem in Springfield. A lot of uh, actions that fall into uh, what John Cass of the Tribune calls the bipartisan culture of sleaze. Uh, this involves things that range all the way from felonies to just plain unethical conduct. Traditional Illinois conservatives are no longer represented in Illinois. Uh, that's no way to run a democracy, and one of the uh, wonderful things about American politics is the existence of a primary. And, and when we undermine that process, when the party undermines that process, it does not do a service to the voters. I'm a Republican to the core because it stands for principles. We have some rules of things that we believe in, and they are in the Republican platform for Illinois, and it's a good one. So is the national one. But it's observed in the breach by the people that pretend to be the leaders of uh, Illinois. We just cannot afford to allow other people to make these decisions in our lives. We cannot go into the election in 2010 with the a uh, mess that we've got in place right now. I have joined the Committee of 100 because I am sick and tired of what's going on. It's not good. And the Committee of 100 is people that have a standing in the community and a little bit of cash that they can put roughly $10,000 into the Renaissance Committee uh, in order to organize uh, a system uh, for finding and vetting and funding uh, candidates that will really represent the values of the Republican Party. People with backbone, people with conservative ideals, people that will stand up for what's right. The only way for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. Now is our time to step up. And so one of the things that, that attracts me to it is to be involved in the vetting sessions, the vetting process. I want to be there, meet the candidates. I want to see what they're like. I want to see what kind of conviction they have. I want to be sure that they have backbone and they are uh, have integrity. To, to recognize that the Republican Party is the standard bearer for principle and to reform the Republican Party. That's one of the reasons I'm in the Committee of 100. This Renaissance Committee that I'm starting is done in the spirit of Daniel Burnham, the great architect that pulled off the 1893 exposition and stunned the world uh, with the wonderful things that happened here. Burnham has said, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood. So get in it, be involved with a big open renaissance of the Republican Party.